this is Darren Nighthawk, and you are watching my Nether Challenge playthrough of the Feed the Beast Monster Mod Pack. Uh, if you've been with us so far, you've seen we've gotten a lot done, and there's plenty more where that came from. Uh, the last couple episodes, we went out on a hunt. We uh, ventured off into the Nether uh, in search of honey, uh, and after a, uh, after a number of deaths, um, we finally found the hive that was completely empty. 100% completely empty. It was an incredibly disappointing end to uh, yesterday's episode. Um, couldn't have gone any worse, uh, if you ask me. Did a little bit of research into it uh, and uh, worked around some more. Turns out that the beehives added by Biomes of Plenty to the world um, randomly spawn with or without honey. So we just got very, very unlucky and ran across a hive that did not have honey. Uh, now I went off off camera and explored a little bit more, found another hive that did have honey, and, and made it back here uh, intact with uh, a couple buckets of honey. And this is my second attempt at recording this episode, and unfortunately, uh, Minecraft and my recording software both crashed, and so the footage is, seems to be wasted. Um, however, I got a bunch of stuff done uh, at the beginning of the episode, so I'm just going to appear to speed with what I did. First off, here's one of our honey buckets. I said I brought two back. This one was just in case I screwed up. So the first honey bucket is actually over here in what I built as our cobblestone generator. Uh, for those of you who are familiar with Skyblocks, uh, this is a very, very common site uh, in the Skyblocks game type. Uh, you pretty much can't play Skyblocks without it. That said, I'm sure there are people who don't build it whatsoever. On the flip side, there are tons of people who uh, do use a cobblestone generator and jack it up in the first try. Thankfully, I did not. That's lava, not obsidian. Lava, not obsidian. So, I did it right on the first try. The basic premise of it is that there's lava over here to the left, that flows. There's honey down here. Uh, under this cobblestone block is actually an empty space. So when this cobblestone isn't here, the honey flows down into the block below it. Now what happens when they're both flowing is that the lava flowing touches the honey flowing and they form a cobblestone block. So I'll just go ahead and show you this real quick. Break that, and there's another one. Break that, and there's another one. Break that, and there's another one. Now I already have a bunch of cobblestone, about 85 cobblestone to be exact, uh, which I harvested in my first attempt at this episode. So, lucky for you guys, you don't get to watch me sit here for a while harvesting cobblestone. Um, but this was one of our major goals. This is this is really huge. Um, I seriously uh, wasn't sure uh, if we were going to be able to get cobblestone in the nether, uh, since it doesn't naturally spawn, and uh, water is uh, very difficult, almost impossible, to get in the nether with just nether resources. Uh, but we did it. We now have an infinite supply of cobblestone. We currently have to harvest it manually, uh, which is a little tedious, but it does work, um, and I'm not complaining about that. So, now that we have cobblestone, uh, this opens up a ton of doors for us. And I went ahead and updated our to-do list with a couple of new things. Took the cobblestone one off and replaced it with get sand. Hopefully once we get sand, we can get glass. Those two go kind of hand in hand. Once you get sand, you just smelt the sand in the glass and presto change um, But getting both of these and the addition of cobblestone is going to make a huge difference for us. Uh, so many recipes require cobblestone, sand, glass. I mean, it's, it's almost not even funny uh, how many recipes require it. Um, so it'll really open a lot of doors for us. So uh, what's go ahead and look into getting sand. And this is roughly uh, about where uh, the game crashed for me. So I'm going to be very careful to hopefully not do that again. So sand. We can make it uh, using compressed sand, which isn't really helpful considering it's just nine blocks of sand. Uh, using a tome of alkahest, I don't know how to get that, so that won't help. Uh, macerator. Uh, we cannot build a macerator, uh, mostly because uh, just about every IC2 object requires rubber. 
Um, there's no rubber trees in the nether. And uh, currently there's no viable way to produce rubber uh, for this. So I see two pretty much as a whole, not an option. None whatsoever. Now pulverizer, this is actually where it crashed on me. Um, can't build a pulverizer because it requires glass. I won't look it up because I don't want the game to crash again. Here is where we want to be. The sag mill. We've already built the sag mill. In fact, that was our original plan on how to get cobblestone. If we can somehow power the sag mill, we can then get sand. Now, our first attempt at that was our steam dynamo over here, right? And the problem we ran into here is it requires water. And every attempt that we've had getting water has failed. Uh, the aqueous accumulator requires, uh, requires glass. That's no help. However, I did some more research, and I have an idea. Sterling generator. Supplied by Ender IO, the same mod that actually supplies our sag mill here, is our ticket to early power in this run through. Uh, first glance, stone bricks. We can do stone bricks. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and uh, smelt some of this cobblestone here. Turn it into smooth stone. Oops, that doesn't go there. Uh, so that we can make those stone bricks. Okay. Those are being worked on furnace. That's just stone. We can make that. Piston, stone, wood planks, iron, redstone. We can make that. And basic gears. This is a new one. Something added by Ender IO. And that is just sticks and cobblestone. So we can make this. We can make this entire block uh, produce power for our sag mill. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, let's do first things first. Make a furnace. Get our cobblestone. Do, 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 do. Furnace. Check. Now, oddly enough, we could actually replace our nether furnaces with vanilla furnaces if we wanted to. Um, I think they little add, they look cool, um, and they add a little bit of uh, variety uh, to what you would normally see in a base. So stick with it. Basic gears. Stone and sticks. I say sticks and stones. Um, let's see. So we need two, which means we need eight sticks. Do that. Eight sticks. Check. Piston, so we need some redstone and some iron. Redstone I got. Iron. Do I have any iron? Hmm. Okay, so we seem to be out of iron. We use them all for the iron bars. There's no iron in the way, is there? Okay, so that's something that we're going to have to make a quick look around for, find some iron. I actually don't have any whatsoever. I'm going to place up my pickaxe here. Um, I'm going to use this opportunity to uh, clear this out a little bit more. Um, this area is planning on kind of hollowing out anyway, so hopefully we'll uh, stumble across some, some nether ores right here, which we can then smelt. So yeah, I'm, I'm really excited that, um, that this is going to work. Um, I've been having a lot of fun uh, with this challenge. It's really caused me to uh, do a lot of research, maybe into some mods that uh, I've never tried before, uh, never was really interested in trying. Um, but because of the, the sheer uh, difficulty of what we're doing, uh, I've had to look some, some into some other avenues, uh, which has been really good for me, really, really interesting. One of the directions I was considering going for a while um, was actually to try Rotary Craft. Um, Rotary Craft is a neat mod that uh, is supposed to make uh, more realistic. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how you describe it. It's supposed to be a more realistic uh, mod for Minecraft. Uh, it, 
it applies things like uh, torque and speed and, and power for your for your power supply. It doesn't just simply generate power. And uh, one of the things you have to do with it is you actually have to uh, supply power correctly, uh, enough power, enough torque, and, and get a balance there uh, between those those two. Um, the perk for uh, the the idea of using uh, rotary crap is that uh, it actually uh, mostly relies upon iron. Um, most of the recipes, the vast majority of them, just require a ton of iron. That's really about it. You, there's not a, a lot of different other resources required for it. So as long as you have iron, you're fine. Unfortunately for us, we don't actually have a lot of iron, um, <laughs> ironically, because that's what we're looking for right now. Um, so it's something we have really at our disposal. Um, but the main problem I ran into in looking for that, um, rotary cap requires the work table, uh, which is not spelled either of those two ways. Rotary cap work table. That requires bricks. I haven't figured out how to get bricks here in the nether yet. Um, so that kind of ruled out that as an option, unfortunately. Uh, maybe we'll look into that some later. Um, it looks really neat. Uh, it looks like there's a ton of stuff that you can do with it. Um, and it might actually work uh, very well in the nether if we can get the uh, the work table set up. Um, but that'll be a task for another day. Go away, Hava. I don't want to fall on you. Uh, task for another day. Um, oh, oh, damn it. I really was hoping that would not happen. A bunch of tin at least. That's good. <coughs> I guess the smart thing would have been just to look outside. Now it's a little bit difficult to do that since I pissed off all those pigmen. Just get the light here. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll find a use for Nikolite for once. I feel like in every YouTube video that I've watched, Nikolite is absolute garbage. There's nothing... Ooh. It's not safe. Uh, there's nothing anyone ever finds to use Nicolette for. That's a, and, and the big problem with it is you, you get an absolute crap load from when you harvest it. Um, so it just takes up a ton of space. Um, it's almost like a, a troll ore or something. I don't know. Uh, but maybe maybe we'll find a use for it here in our, our playthrough. You never know. Finding lots of uh, interesting things so far. I mean, who would have thought that honey could be used to create a cobblestone generator. <laughs> now, that's probably just a glitch uh, for that uh, for the honey cobblestone generator, but I'm okay with that. Uh, it's really useful for us. And, uh, yeah, probably not what they intended when they uh, included that in Biomes of Plenty. Just, just a possibility. Well, it says it's looking too good for us uh, at finding uh, iron right here. Fortunately, I think, uh, I think we might have to venture outside to, to the area where I've apparently pissed off a ton of pigmen. And they're constantly reminding us with, uh, speaking of, there's an angry pigman right here. Yep, reminding us with those lovely sounds that they make all the time. Outside this door, maybe it's safe enough out on this side. Looks pretty good. I just need a little bit of iron. Right here. Get away from that. Still good. Okay. That should be enough iron, as far as I'm concerned. Let's get back inside. In. Let's go ahead and uh, smelt up this iron. Smelt up smooth stone. Uh, iron. Here. Grab that. We'll offload these ores I just picked up. Tin, or nether, or lead, or sapphire, or nickel. 
electrolytes. Uh, we don't need this stuff. Uh, oops, there's some good stuff in there too. I'll drop the netherrack because I've got tons of it. Ooh, I need to make a bigger chest. Jeez. Okay, so we need some bricks. Actually, we're at only five. Good. Well, oh, perfect. Well, okay, we got plenty. That's all that matters. Smelt down this iron. Let's get one bit. And I think got it. Okay. So redstone bottom, iron in the middle, cobble along the sides, and also I forgot to put wood in my inventory, so take that all out. That's not the wood piece. That's great. We'll use dark wood. Perfect. Three across the top. Bam. 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 There we go. Piston. Okay, so basic gears on either side. The furnace. And the stone bricks. There it is. Our Sterling engine. I'm going to place this right here next to our, uh, our sag mill. I believe all it needs is coal. Looks like it's cooking. It is producing energy. We've done it, guys. Got energy. Finally did it. So now that means we can use this to make sand. This is it. Wait for it. Ta da! Now we now have sand in the nether. Who would have thought that uh, this would be possible using only nether resources? Yeah, and of course, all the mods that are included in the Feed the Beast mod pack, uh, or the monster mod pack, that is. Um, but yeah, I haven't pulled anything out of the overworld so far. I haven't gone mining in the overworld. I haven't, haven't done anything like that. Um, and here we go, we've got cobblestone, we've got sand. Um, in fact, you know what? We're gonna go ahead and finish up this checklist, and we're gonna gonna make some uh, some glass right now. Make some regular old glass. Um, and then every single one of these will come off the wall. I just did it. Look at that glass. Bam. Now, since I thought of this earlier, we should um, get bricks. That'll probably be a very long-term goal there. Get around to it, and we're making more and more cobblestone. So, look at that. Power seems to be not terribly high here, but uh, you know what? It works. I can't complain about it. We've got power. It's not the fastest thing. Now, I hope this Sterling generator uh, isn't anything like the uh, Sterling engine that Buildcraft ends. I have a very bad track record with those Sterling engines. Um, I have a bad habit of leaving them on and then walking away for very long periods of time. Uh, which, for uh, those of you who aren't familiar with Sterling engines, if you leave them running for too long, they explode. So, I would usually come back to my base to find a giant crater where had once been my power supply or, or, or what have you, or whatever I decided to put there. Um, and then I'd have to make it all over again. It's really kind of a bummer. Um, but yeah, there you have it. We're, uh, we're making some fantastic progress. Um, like I said with the cobblestone, this opens so many doors for us. Um, we could probably get our steam dynamo up and running now. Uh, the issue was the uh, aqueous accumulator, which we now have the glass for. We've got the uh, glass for that, so that should should work. Um, all the thermal expansion stuff, or not all of it, but a lot of it should be uh, available for it machinery-wise. Who knows? Maybe we'll uh, get a quarry or something. In fact, I'll, I'll, put, I'll put down over here number question mark. Get quarry turtle 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 auto stuff. There you go. Um, yeah, at some point it'd be, it'd be great to get a lot of resources um, and not have to run outside to get it because uh, it's a little bit terrifying. 
and the more I can stay inside and be safe and sound, uh, the happier I will be, <laughs> and the less ridiculous and scary these episodes will be. So, um, I think that'll be about wraps it up for today. Uh, thanks for joining us again. This has been Dura Nighthawk, and thank you for watching my YouTube channel. Please like and subscribe and drop a comment if you see anything um, that you like, don't like, or you think I could do better. Thanks again, and see you next time.